Hey, what's going on guys and uh, welcome to the video series uh, where we cover complicated parts of JavaScript. So in this video, we're going to cover the closure. Uh, what is a closure, uh, uh, how we use the closure and why we need the closure. So I create the new file uh, and let me open it. It's empty file and in this I'm going to show you uh, on uh, examples uh, how we can use the closure and I'm going to explain everything. Uh, I try to do my best guys all right and I want to show you first example I'm gonna create uh, yeah of course I forget to tell you guys closures it's simply function inside another function and let me show you an uh, example so let me create the function I'm gonna name it uh, vehicle and inside the function we need to return something right that's gonna be the another function so return and function and I'm gonna uh, call it model because I'm gonna do with the vehicles in this example and let me console log and right here I just gonna type fort gonna return the string with the fort name okay and so if we're gonna call the vehicle function of course it's console log you can see in the console and let me uh, print in the console uh, just i use webstorm that's why i click on the mouse right button and run this file okay if you use uh, some different ide you can go to terminal and you need to have node.js installed to run in the console so you just type node uh, and name of your file in my case it's 04 uh, closures.js and just simply return and you can see it's a function uh, my vehicle function uh, return the function same thing in my console so to get the value i just simply add braces right here so that's mean uh, wherever this function called uh, it's right away return and return everything what have same with the function model so let me run in a console and you can see the ford let me comment this and let me add the parameters uh, which is gonna be the uh, variable without any value and i'm gonna name it horse power for the car okay and let me add right here the uh, model name i'm gonna use the ford okay and right here we can print some message I'm gonna type the car uh, is and i'm gonna use the variable model name this one you can see the web storms highlighted and let me add and horse power gonna be the and i'm gonna use the this variable okay let me copy and horse power you can see it highlighted so what we do what we've done we just close this variable inside of uh, this function scope okay but we can get access to this variable with this function okay and uh, if we print again it's gonna be of course undefined everything because we're not assign any value to assign value we just uh, create the new variable i'm gonna name it uh, new vehicle and i'm gonna put the vehicle function inside okay and you can see the web storm suggests me to pass some value to horsepower variable which is uh, cool and that's why i love use web storm when i work with uh, pure javascript you know, horsepower it's gonna be the number i'm gonna add 250 okay and now to call this function uh, to return this function and with this message uh, i need to call uh, this variable and inside uh, nothing i'm gonna uh, inside i'm gonna pass the model name so model name gonna be the ford uh, with the camel ford and let me return let me print in the console let's see what's gonna happen and you can see the car is Ford and the horsepower 250. 
all right so let's recap guys i know in the first time it's kind of confusing but uh, the simplest uh, the idea is simple so in uh, the closure is where we add some variable inside of the scope of this function and we can get access to this variable with this function you can see on this uh, example so if you confuse with uh, these parameters with these variables we can uh, just simply redo uh, pass the variable in here we can assign it to 50 and uh, let's cut the model name and let's create the variable and the model name we can add let's uh, cut the fork and put in here and let me get rid of 250 right here and now if we're gonna call the new vehicle function which uh, have a vehicle function and we're gonna print same thing you can see so let's recap again guys i know it's kind of confusing for you and so we create the function we pass inside the function the variable and assign to 250 that's horsepower 250 then we return the function another function which is model and inside of this model function we create new variable model name and give it the ford okay i can give it mazda something let's do kind of differently 350 okay and then we console log we print the message so the model name this function uh, this uh, variable and the horsepower and this uh, variable so this variable uh, we can get only inside of this function scope all right we can't get outside so if we're gonna uh, console that log the horse power you can see it's right away it's undefined it's tell me the web storm tell me let me see unresolved variable or type horsepower if we're gonna print right now and you can see the horsepower is not defined so we can get to this variable only inside of the vehicle scope of this vehicle function let me come in this and uh, let me show you another example it's same thing but we're gonna create the calculator so let's create the function and we're gonna name it uh, calculator and let's pass some uh, variable the argument is gonna be the num which is a number and let's return the function and I'm gonna name it at uh, number and let's pass uh, another variable it's gonna be num1 okay and inside uh, let's return uh, num which this variable and we're just gonna add num2 it's num1 in our case oh, let's redo guys num1 and num2 all right so as you already know to uh, run this uh, function we create new variable uh, we are gonna name it new calculator and pass in this calculator this function calculator okay and and you can see ask me to pass any value first level gonna be the four okay you can see it's number one now how to add the number two value uh, i'm just gonna call a new calculator and you can see webstorm show me suggest me uh, number two let's pass number one let's see in our console and we need to console log okay all right let's see in the console it's gonna be five as you see if we're gonna add the four so again it's gonna be the eight so let's recap again we create the calculator function uh, we pass some variable without value and we return the function which is add number so 
we close the number one inside of the calculator function okay and whatever number we're gonna pass to the number uh, two in the add number function it's gonna be add to the number one if it's if it's five it's gonna be nine all right and that's whole idea guys and uh, let me show you another example uh, I'm gonna hold it so let me comment this one uh, function it's gonna be the URL uh, generator uh, and inside we're gonna return a new function uh, we're gonna name it or print uh, I don't know URL and let's uh, it's gonna be the function of course function uh, print URL and let me pass in here the uh, main the variable domain and right here uh, the name all right and we're gonna return and I'm gonna use template literals and let's add HTTPS and right here the name name and that and we're gonna use the domain and and domain in here let's uh, create new variable and I'm gonna name it I don't know URL okay and we're gonna pass in this URL generator in here and you can see ask me domain let's add dot com okay and right here let's uh, use URL we're gonna pass the name YouTube all right and as you already know so let's console lock and we're gonna get youtube.com let's run HTTP okay let me add like in a real world <laughs> domain name okay okay you can see it's uh, youtube.com if we're gonna if we're gonna add right here the Google it's gonna be the Google all right and I want to show you one more uh, example it's uh, very often asked in an interview uh, so and they ask you to explain how it's work so uh, let me create the array I'm gonna assign in an array the digits one two three four five six seven and uh, let me create the for loop uh, where it's gonna be the var i equals zero and I add the var uh, and the purpose I'm gonna show you guys why and I'm gonna explain you so and we wanna try it when the i and array that length let's add the set timeout and I'm gonna use uh, the function arrow function right here and console lock the message uh, I'm gonna say index that's gonna be an I okay and I want to return of after 500 milliseconds I want to return each I okay so um, what we're gonna expect if we're right now loop uh, we should expect uh, the index uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right but let's see what's gonna happen so why it's happened like that uh, we use the var okay and we assign i to zero and we ask when the i gonna be less than length of the array because if we're gonna console lock uh, array and uh, it's gonna be the length seven so let's check lock console lock array um, dot length and 
let's see yeah, it's seven okay so when it's finished to iterate uh, every time so it's assigned to seven to length seven uh, that's why it shows us the i equal seven so how to fix it we need the uh, index uh, it's uh, I'm gonna show you three ways and first an easy way just change var to let uh, we're not covered the uh, 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 what difference uh, between var and let and what is hoisting to look forward I'm gonna tell you the difference between let and var it's uh, uh, let not hoisted okay it's uh, closed inside of this function inside of this loop so uh, if we run right now so now we're getting the index okay so zero one two three four five six we get now six indexes all right and uh, another way uh, let's uh, return back the var uh, keyword and uh, other way how we can do uh, with the bind okay so let me wrap uh, this function with uh, parentheses and I'm gonna add that bind uh, I wanna bind uh, this array so first argument gonna be this array and the second gonna be the index if we're gonna use keyword var and uh, wrap with the uh, braces and use the bind and we're gonna get same result uh, of course uh, I need uh, pass uh, variables I'm gonna use the X okay so let's see right now so now we get same result and the third uh, example I want to show you let me delete the bind because I don't need anymore and let me get rid of the X and and return the I again so let's see again if it's still working yes you can see with the var doesn't work and we can create the inside uh, the braces function and call it right away okay uh, same thing what we did right here with the vehicle and the first time when we just started okay we call the function and uh, call everything uh, inside this function okay that's why how we get uh, the model okay but in here we're gonna create new function I'm gonna use the arrow function we can use regular function it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna cut the set timeout right here and I'm gonna pass uh, the variable it's gonna be the X and I'm gonna change the X right here so we close the X inside of this uh, uh, function okay and we're gonna return the I what we're gonna use the I so now it's supposed to work let's check ah, right here it's supposed to be the X too okay so let's run our code and we get same result now we count the index so that's a really good example how the closure work and that's you can practice this example because uh, very often it's asked on a job interview all right guys if you think it was helpful so don't forget to like share and of course comment so see you in the next video bye